WTBC, the voice of Central Jersey. From politics to entertainment, from social issues to lifestyles, from newsmakers to pop culture. If it's Jersey, it's on Jersey Central with Burt Barron, 732-545-9282. Or toll free at 888-545-9282. Your state, your home, your voice. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. 737, we're back on Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It's Bird. good morning to you. Need to know things are coming up a little bit later on in this half hour. Special in-studio guests for the 8 o'clock hour. Wow, I'm excited about the 8 o'clock hour that's coming up. I hope you are as well. So we'll give you some more information on that in just a bit. Well, it is a Tuesday morning, and that means it's time for another edition of What's It Worth with Barry Blank from National Estate Jewelry Buyers uh, in East Brunswick, who's with us here. Of course, the 18th anniversary celebration continues. 18 years uh, on Route 18 for Barry Blank, and he joins us now in the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. Good morning, Barry. How are you? Good morning, and how are you today? I'm well. Thanks so much uh, for joining us uh, once again today. And I'm watching the market go up and down, Barry. It's it's crazy. Big gains, big losses that seem like they're kind of uh, go hand in hand. How does that impact gold and precious metal prices? And what you do? How how important to to what your you, what you do is that uh, that that stock market number and and the the activity on the stock market? Well, the stock market is really an interesting thing to watch. And I say watch as a uh, as an observer, because gold used to be all the time that if stock market went up, gold went down, and the and the reverse is true also. But in this case, stock market went down. Well, it's actually, this followed. This is the first time it's really following. Gold stayed steady. It actually went up a dollar or so. But it, it's a very strange market. And people are really worried about the drop, but proportionally, a 4% drop in the market is nothing. And this the gold right now, let me just pull it up. Sure. Pull up the gold price, see what it did. And right now, it's actually up a few dollars. Hmm, interesting. It's up 80 cents, 60 cents, excuse me, from yesterday. $1,339. Wow. An ounce. Now, the high was ni- about 1900 Okay. And the, the, the world average, if you go back to 1980, is 275 to $300 an ounce. So we are so much higher. Um, the thing that did happen yesterday is actually silver went down about a 25, 30 cents, and it's rebounding a little bit today. But, you know, the, 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 the precious metals markets are pretty stable, mm-hmm. and I, I – as a personal viewpoint, I don't think this 4% drop in the stock market is anything to be concerned about today. Um, because 4% on, on, on 26,000 is a lot different than 4% drop on 1,000, 1,200 Dow Jones. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's a big difference. And I think the one thing, Barry, that people need to remember that gold is not a dividend paying investment. You want to make money on gold, you sell it. That's really the only way, right? Right, right. There's no dividend at all, unless you can figure out some way to. <laughs> what did the producers do? They sold the scam. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, but you <laughs> can't true. do that. You can't do that. But Very anyway. true. But uh, is buying gold as an investment is that still uh, kind of a sound decision? You know, I would not buy gold solely as my only investment. I would put it as a hedge, and I I don't understand investment that much, but. I, I would think anywhere from five to twenty percent of your investment should either be in the the, the actual metal, and I would buy a gold U.S. Uh, a U.S. Eagle or a Maple Leaf or a Krugerrand, mm-hmm. and put them aside. And if you can't find and if you can't afford a one ounce, buy a tenth ounce or a half ounce or a quarter ounce, and just put it in a safe deposit box, you know, and just leave it sit there. I mean. If, the thing is, if gold goes down, you lose money. If it goes go, goes up, you you make money when you sell it. Right, exactly. Uh, the question, Barry, I'm sure you're posed a lot, is about when uh, paying a premium when it comes to an investment. Uh, that's probably something that you hear a lot from people about uh, paying a premium when it comes to investing. You hear that often? All the time. Yeah. And you know, I, I, the biggest the biggest thing I'll say, and I can't mention any anything by name because I don't want to get sued. Uh-huh. 
is when you go on a cruise ship and they have these quote-unquote art auctions, they are selling all of their art as limited edition, which they just might, might, might well be, and they're selling them as things that will definitely go up in price. You have no idea how many things I've seen that have no value. So when, you, when you're investing in something, the most important thing is you need to do your research. You know, it's different. It's way different than a stock. Hmm. You know, it's way different. Again, artwork doesn't pay dividends. Um, but if you if you're lucky enough to say, well, I have a I have a, a Salvador Dali um, limited edition, and in 1980 it's something similar, or even this exact etching, because it was never one of a kind or a litho, sold for one thousand dollars. In 1990 it sold for fifteen hundred, and in 2000 it sold for two thousand. If you can find that trend. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got to go right up to the current moment and see the closest thing you find that they did it sell for more than $1,000 currently because there are trends, and sometimes artwork goes down in value. Right, right. Now, that that, that really happens on cruise ships, Barry. I've never been on one. They have oh. art sales or art auctions on board cruise ships? They have, yes. And really? They say, and, and this is a limited edition so-and-so, and it is definitely going to go up in value. I mean, I recently bought a Peter Max. That it was a lucite sculpture a couple of years ago, and and this person paid twenty five thousand dollars for it. Wow! I think I, I I I bought it, I sold it, bought it, and sold it for him, or consigned it and sold it for him. I think we got a total of twenty five hundred or three thousand. Oh boy! So you really need to be careful. Don't just and it's all the time. There is there are online stamp companies and coin companies and. That say you're going to make money, and and even the Franklin, you know who, yeah, um, you know who, they sell these proposed ingots and coins and medallions that are going to go up in value. The only time they go up in value is if the silver market or the gold market goes up. Right now, I'm certainly not wishing any will on Peter Max. He's one of my favorite artists of all time. Me but uh, when Peter Max unfortunately meets his demise, is there an, an inherent spike in the value of his work, or does it kind of depend upon? how much work there is, and who the artist was. It depends on a lot of things. Okay. Peter Max is way out in there in the public domain. Sure. Very, very difficult to authentic- authenticate any of his work without proper provenance and paperwork and authenticity papers or COA, Certificate of Authenticity. Very, very difficult. The thing is that when somebody does cross over or pass on, what happens is they can't make any more of their unique work. Exactly, right. You know, and in case of Peter Max, there's so much out there that cannot be authenticated. Interesting. So, and I, I hope Peter Max lives a long, healthy life. I'm not wishing anything bad on him, of course. Yeah, yeah. I he know. signed it's a nice picture good. for me. I have it hanging up in my office. I don't know if I ever showed you that. No, you didn't. It's, it's worth you a little didn't. bit more with his name on it, right? It's worth a lot more with his name on it. Did you ever get it? Did it come with a certificate guaranteeing (laughs) Of course uh, not. Of course uh, not. It should have, though, right? (laughs) Right. Yeah, well, you know, have him, him, what is it, kiss it with red lipstick or something. I don't know. And then you test his DNA. Gotcha. Well, of course, uh, it is a Tuesday, so the free verbal evaluation days are continuing over at National Estate on Route 18. And uh, update us on the uh, penny guess, Uh, Barry. That is continuing uh, over at the shop? Yeah, we, you know what? I'm going to email you the winner okay. for last for last month. All right. I, I don't have it with me right now. Oh, okay. We haven't even. We, we, I'm I'm preparing for this show. I leave in two days at six in the morning from Miami, and I just been so wound up. I mean, I I can't believe how much merchandise I just have sitting there that I'm wow. taking with me. Okay. I'm not taking it by the way. It goes armored car. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> just if you. anybody's thinking about following me down, you know. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> understood understood all right so i uh, see so you'll be in in sunny south florida next week so we'll take a break we'll take a little hiatus and then two weeks from now you'll be back with us on tuesday right i certainly will because i'll be in an airplane at seven thirty in the morning awesome uh, next tuesday. awesome back. in the meantime if somebody wants to contact you for more info barry how do they do it well you can call us at 732-257-GOLD that's 4653 that's 732257 gold we're next to FedEx office on route 18 on the northbound side just before the turnpike sounds great well safe trip uh, to florida barry good to speak to you as always and uh, we'll pick this up again in a couple weeks all right that's wonderful i'll i'll email you later all right beautiful thank you all right and they'll send me that information as to who